Hello everybody and welcome back to another how-to episode here in Landmark. Today's episode is all about voxel putty. I first found this technique over on the forums and by checking out some video tutorials by a user named Tenma. He's got his own tutorial series over on YouTube and he also streams. I'll leave a link to his video and his channel over in the video description below. But for now, let's jump in and take a look. Alright guys, as you can see in front of me, I've got this basically an anti-voxel wall. And you can see these, you get these really nice thin lines. But I don't want to have gaps in between here. I want to fill it in with a material like I did right here. And we can do that with voxel putty. And what's great about voxel putty is that it basically conforms to just about any shape you throw down. So it really has a lot of uses. And like I said before, it's really simple to set up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the first thing we want to do is make sure we are underneath the terrain, or at least in an area where we can use healed earth. As you can see, I'm underneath Game Brew TV Tavern. My boss rock has already cut out all of this dirt so I could use it, but I'm going to go ahead and cut out another little chunk here. And I'm just going to make just a one voxel in depth hole here. We'll cut that out. Now what I want to do is come in here with my selection tool, select. It can be any size you want, but we're going to use one voxel size. And I'm going to switch over here to a texture I want to paint with. Think of it as a paintbrush. So you want to make sure you've got the material you're going to paint with to be selected first. So let's, let's just stick with stucco because that really stands out pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint that selected voxel now. In the paint escape you can see the healed earth is now painted, this stucco. So the next thing you want to do is select that piece again. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it. And this is basically our new paintbrush. And this is essentially voxel putty. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to move this in. I'm just going to start clicking here. And we'll move the camera in. And as I paste this guy in, you can see the healed earth is conforming to these anti-voxel string shapes. And what's even great is you can see here down at the bottom, it didn't go beyond this area here. So this border is maintained. And I'll even come over here to where we have some more elaborate designs and we can see it filled in this area really nicely what's also great is if we look behind this it maintains that depth now one thing to note if you do have big gaps like this in your wall let's go ahead and paste this guy in here now you can see what happens it comes back out to its original thickness I mean you can get some really cool shapes with that but just be forewarned, if you're going to try to do some intricate designs, just be aware of large areas like this because it will default back to a one voxel size. And really quick, I also wanted to show you this other example I've made. I made this really, really quick, quick and dirty design just using the inlaid pattern technique. And I just basically smoothed out the middle here. But what I want to show you here is that I've got varying depths on this design. As you can see here in the middle where I smoothed it, it gets really thin. But on the outside, we're back to our default one voxel width depth. So if I go ahead and just paste our voxel putty and start pasting it in here. And let's just move it forward a little bit. Now I'm just going to fill in this circle. Now you can see not only did it fill in that design, but it also maintained the varying depth of the voxel. So we're, get, we're getting a nice fall off here from a one voxel in depth all the way down to like a micro voxel, anti voxel size, which is really thin on the inside. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Once again, it's a really quick setup, really quick tutorial, but once you have everything set, you can do some really amazing detail here with your anti voxel strings and designs that you've put into your ceilings and your walls. Also be sure to check out Tenma's videos and if you enjoy the content feel free to subscribe and if you got a question feel free to leave one in the comment section below. Till next time everybody, take care. <laughs>